Okay, so I just wanted to put this presentation together um, just to quickly summarize why I did the project and um, sort of how one thing led into another. Because you can see that, uh, uh, that there's many videos up there and um, it, it can be quite lengthy. So I just wanted to summarize everything as quickly as possible and hopefully it makes it easier for you guys. Uh, so basically I was having some problems with the engine light and uh, I connected the OBD scanner and it said there was something to do with maybe emissions and I didn't look into it much further than that but basically what happened was I thought it was the EGR valve and basically I thought okay well I'll just remove the EGR valve I've got the service manual there I'll just remove the, the intake side of the engine give everything a bit of a clean and see what happens and my car has about 220,000 kilometers on it in um, it's a 2014 sprinter um, and basically when I pulled the intake section of the car out uh, from from the intercooler all, all the tubing and things there was just soot everywhere there was black soot everywhere and in my mind um, I thought basically the exhaust that would come from the EGR would vacuum straight into the engine but it in principle, I don't think it works like that. What I'm trying to say in this diagram is uh, the EGR actually makes black soot. It migrates backwards into the throttle body and back into the intercooler. And I don't know why this happens. Maybe it's got to do with back pressure or something like that. But on, on my van, I don't think the intake had ever been cleaned out. And over over the, a number of years, the black soot from the EGR valve has, has actually like contaminated the whole inlet section of my engine so I pulled everything apart and just started cleaning everything and I was like wow I've really got to give this a thorough clean and um, but, uh, for example I probably might look at doing a delete or something in in the future because the EGR just makes a mess of absolutely everything it's disgusting and uh, in my mind the intake section of a car should be fresh clean air it shouldn't have uh, black soot contaminating everything and it was all through the throttle body it was all through the piping. It was just everywhere. It was, um, as you'll see in the videos, it's just a, it just contaminates everything. So the cost of the project, um, all up, it was uh, maybe two or three hundred dollars. But that's because I, I sort of went into this without doing much research. I just basically went to Mercedes Benz and I said, "Can you give me a, a, a kit or a or a pack of gaskets to do the intake manifold?" And they said they've they basically had something that was similar to like what I was asking for. So I, I did have about $200 budgeted and they said it was uh, $217, I think, for this um, set of gaskets. And I did buy uh, some diesel cleaner, which is really, really good because you can safe, you, you can spray this into the actual combustion chamber of your car and it's safe. So you, you're able to really get in there and, and spray out all the soot. Um, I did use a couple of cans of brake and parts cleaner just to clean out the um, other parts that weren't so critical. So uh, the biggest expense I think is the amount of time it takes. It does take eight to 12 hours to do the whole job if you wanna do it correctly. Um, and like I'm saying here, if I did it again, I wouldn't need all those gaskets um, you would only need a few to replace a few and you could probably ma you could actually make some of them yourself you don't need to get the fancy mercedes-benz one um, so it, it might end up costing you only a hundred dollars which is it's, pr it's pretty good since you're taking care of the whole inlet section of your car and you can um, clean out all the black soot and make it as fresh as possible so just make sure you've got a lot of time and patience but um, expense wise it's not actually that expensive so in my opinion, if you need to do this project, you should probably just get these three gaskets. Uh, the other ones, you might be able to just make them, make them yourself or you don't really actually need them. Uh, so I've, I've put the price there. That, that, that's in Australian dollars, um, but you can sort of adjust it um, to whatever your country is. And um, like I said, Mercedes gave me 11 gaskets, but in my opinion, you probably only need three and these three here. Uh, these are the eight gaskets I did use for the project uh, and you can see the the four there's four gaskets for the EGR valve and then there's four 
gaskets and o-rings for the inlet manifold and the throttle throttle body um, and all up they're, they're all roughly about twenty dollars each give or take a few dollars but you, you could save money and make some of those yourself or maybe you just don't need to replace them um, it's really up to you but I, I, I seriously probably wouldn't waste that much money on this uh, I'll leave that up to you and just a final slide here uh, there were some gaskets that were left over um, from from the project. Um, I'm, I'm going to contact Mercedes Bender and find out where they go, but I'm pretty sure they're just for the fuel pump, um, which is in the same area, um, or they might be for the uh, oil cooler, um, which is in the same vicinity, uh, just lower down on the engine block. So hopefully that helps, guys, and um, good luck with your project. Um, I've already got an email from uh, Richard, so thanks for shouting out also. So that was great to um, hear some feedback from you. Thank you.